Murphy's Law states that anything that can go wrong will go wrong. This trip was a testament to that. No amount of planning could prepare us for what we had in store. We had no idea what we were walking into. Needless to say, there was a big surprise on the horizon. After hearing rumors of the rivers being closed, we did some research. We found out it was true. Everything was closed. Drought, low flows, we weren't sure what to do. We went anyway. On the morning of September 14th, we were on a plane, Montana bound. We knew it was gonna be a challenge, but we made it through. We figured it out. And now, we've got a pretty badass story to tell. Let's roll. Next stop, Dillon, Montana, baby. We found a few fish rising, but the water was insanely low and they were super spooky. We tried everything we knew to try, nothing worked. Day one was a bust. We went back to the cabin to reevaluate our tactics. We came up with some pretty cool ideas, started making some phone calls. Next thing you know, we're headed to Ennis. We had to be tourists and stop and take some pictures of the Vista. It's too pretty not to. We made it to the fly shop in Ennis and got the intel. We were stoked. We knew we were gonna have a better day than day one. The weather was awesome, super calm, overcast, loving what we're hearing. We also had the pleasure of hearing how the owner started the fly shop fly. and how she had created I her very own fly. Sold it to my guests. Okay. The more and more I sold, yeah. I got into Columbia Sportswear, Imperial really? Hats, That's so Sims, cool. and, it, and it exploded. We were selling right out of this little office. <laughs> I said, Ed, we need to get bigger. This is crazy. Yeah. So in 2004, we built on the fly shop. Really? And this is my fly, Jeannie's Catch-All Salmon Fly. I, uh, I'm buying this fly. There you go. <laughs> Then the owner took us outside and gave us the real scoop. Told us where to go, what to throw, where to fish, where not to fish, the whole deal. We couldn't be more excited. Love that sound. Love that sound. Yeah, you know that ultimate scene when you catch a huge fish right when the music pops? It didn't happen. We didn't catch anything. So we went home and played poker instead. And if it gets like, you have to go long heads up, so then we'll just go, you know, five. 
money's gonna be out here soon. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no matches. Day three, we had to throw a Hail Mary. We had to find fish. So we ventured out on our own. And boy, am I glad we did. After losing all my money in the poker game the night before, I was definitely feeling lucky. We headed to a spot where we had dropped a waypoint earlier in the week. We knew this was it. We knew we had to get the fish here or we weren't gonna be able to do it. Fishing was tough. Like we said, get in on Monday, we'd, we'd have had them figured out. Yeah. But I mean, I feel like no lack of effort. No, definitely. We I mean, fished our hearts out, bro. Right? Your Murdigan, Perdigon, Smurdigon. Put some. Quad combo. Yeah, put some together. Yeah. We definitely didn't catch as many fish as we wanted, but that's not why you go. You go for the brotherhood. You go to get away, escape the noise, be outside, enjoy it. Mm -hmm.